Okay, we're on 789. On these right here, we want to write linear inequalities in two variables, given a table of value, a graph, and a verbal description. So we have the graph, we have the verbal description, we have a table. So right here, let's do the take graph. We need to know our slope and our y-intercept, don't we? The y-intercept is right here, which is 5. And my slope, if I put tick marks on the line, get here, here, here. So my slope is down to over 1 in it. So my mx plus b is negative 2x plus 5, and I have y. Now then the line is dashed, so there's not going to be an equal bar, and it's shaded up in it. If it's shaded up, you're going to use greater than. So this is the equation from the graph. Okay, on number two. High School Drama Club is performing a musical to defend a benefit a local charity. Tickets are $5 each. They also receive donations totaling $565. This will be our growing number. This will be our starting number, right? Remember, you use growing number, X plus starting number. The Drama Club wants to raise at least $1,500. At least means greater than or equal to, right? Okay, so we're going to have 5X. We start off with 565 and we want this to be greater than or equal to 1500. This is the this is the inequality that is generated from this. Okay, on number 9, an Amazon shipping facility wants to store at least 150 bucks a boxes. So we have greater than or equal to 150, right? Okay, so we're going to add all these boxes up and it needs to be greater than or equal to 150. So we're going to do x plus y plus, what's this going to equal to 70, greater than or equal to 150. Move over the 70. So I'm going to have x plus y greater than or equal to 80. That's all you got to do.